acceptait de chapeauver ça. La plupart vos budgets parce que c'est tout simplement pas assez. Puis ce n'est pas seulement la prestation de service à nos troupes qui souffrent des compressions des conservateurs. Cette semaine, les conservateurs vont fermer huit bureaux d'anciens combattants. Beaucoup d'anciens combattants n'auront même pas, n'auront plus accès à un traitement adéquat de leur dossier au sein même de leur communauté. Le ministre comprend-il que cette décision de couper des ressources humaines ne peut absolument pas être remplacée par une boîte vocale ou un site Web? Mr. Speaker, our government has made substantial investments to support Canada's veterans, including almost $5 billion in new additional dollars since taking office. This funding has been put towards improved financial benefits, world-class rehabilitation and tuition costs to help veterans transition to civilian life. While our government is making improvement to veterans' benefits, Liberals and the NDP have voted against this new funding for mental health treatment, financial support, and home care services. Yeah. The Honourable Member for Sackville, Eastern Shore. Mr. Speaker, what utter nonsense. The fact yeah. is, these offices provide invaluable services to the heroes of our countries. Those offices that are closing on Friday, Mr. Speaker, will no longer be able to deliver that one-on-one -on -one personal care that the heroes of our country so rightfully deserve. Those offices are closing on Friday, but the government has a chance to do the right thing. Many veterans are on the Hill this week, and many veterans, RCMP members and their families across the country are watching this government closely. Will the government now do the right thing, reverse that decision, keep these offices open so the heroes of our country can get the valuable service they so rightfully deserve? Secretary. Speaker, our government has created 600 new points of service across the country to assist Canadian veterans. Canadian veterans have access to 17 operational stress injury clinics across Canada to help them rehabilitate from service injuries. A critically injured veteran does not have to drive to a district office. Our government will send a registered nurse or a case manager to visit them in a comfort of their own home. Veterans who are seriously injured can count on their government to shovel their driving, Mr. Speaker, clean their homes, cut their grass, and so they can remain in their homes comfortably with dignity and respect that they deserve.